Welcome guys. Today we're going to learn about time-lapse photography. We're going to do a couple of clips of the mountains over here with the clouds moving through the scene and I'm going to show you the settings I'm going to use on the camera on the Nikon Z6 and the 24 to 70 f4 kit lens. So while I'm talking about that we're going to show you a time lapse I did yesterday from our accommodation at the Beely Hotel looking down the other end of this valley. Um, so I'm going to roll that now and we shall talk about the settings I use in the camera. Right here guys, now I'm going to go into the menu system and we're going to select our time lapse photography. So we'll go into the shooting menu and we go all the way down to time lapse moving. There's, and there's another interval shooting, interval timer shooting menu. That's a subject for a different day, but we're going to go just into the time lapse movie for now because we want to set a movie file out of the, the JPEGs that this is going to create. So we go into there, we go OK. Now we have interval. Now I've set it for two second interval. That's the interval between each photo taken. Now shooting time, I'm going to go adjust to 10 minutes. And that's going to give us 12.1 seconds of shoot of um, video at the end of it. Now I've got exposure smoothing set on and we've also got silent photography on so it's on the electronic shutter and we go down and we choose the in image area which is set to FX which is full frame and this here the frame size frame rate is we can set whatever video file we want. So I've got it currently set at at 4K at 25 frames a second. So I'm going to I'm happy with that. So I click OK. And I'm not worried about interval priority at the moment because the, the shutter speeds fairly quick anyway. So now we're going to go straight back up to the top to start and then press OK. And as it says it's preparing and the little light on here tells me that it's recording. So we leave it for 10 minutes and we'll have a look at the result in a second. So that's the time lapse done. So you would have just seen it on screen just a minute ago. Um, that's how easy it is really guys. It's so simple than these Nikon cameras. They're so easy to use and you get great results out of them. Experiment with different frame rates, um, with different lengths of time that you're filming, as well as the interval. Now, if the clouds are moving really, really slow, you could, the, the interval between each photo could be brought up to like five seconds instead of like two seconds. If the clouds are moving really quickly, I'd put it down to one second. It is really, really simple to do these time maps and, and say you get great results. But where we're filming here today is in um, near Arthur's Pass region. Arthur's Pass is, region, Arthur's Pass is just in behind where the camera is over the hill. 
Now this area over here is the start of the Waimak River, the Waimaka, Waimakariri River. And we're just down at a cabin down there at the Beely Hotel, which is a great little spot. And like I say, at the start of this video, you will have seen a time lapse looking down the valley, down the other direction um, from our cabin. And that's the type of views we get from our cabin. But uh, yeah, it's a beautiful region to explore and to do time lapses. So uh, I hope you enjoyed that quick little uh, tutorial about time lapse photography. And so please like and subscribe and post a comment down below. And yeah, today's also, before we go, today's video is shot on the Nikon Z50 with the kit lens, the standard kit lens, which is a 16 to 50 mil lens. And the audio I'm using is the Rode Wireless Go microphone with the lavalier microphone attached to the unit so I can put it up just underneath my t-shirt to keep the, the wind noise at bay. So yeah, please like and subscribe. This channel's starting to pick up a little bit of momentum now, so let's keep it going. I post new videos every week, especially about the Nikon system, whether it be the Z50 or the Z6, and the different lenses that we have for it. So we shall see you on the next one.